Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly, and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs that sell. And as a bonus, if you stay tuned till the end of the video, I have a list of five bonus niches that you guys can be working on right now. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can create this design right here for Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras is coming up on March 4th this year. And so if you'd like to learn how to do this, by the way, this is a Creative Fabrica graphic that we went ahead and edited and added the text to, go ahead and stick around. Okay, so here we are on Canvas homepage and I will be creating another t-shirt design today. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the right-hand side of the page where it says custom size. I'm gonna select 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. That is the standard t-shirt size and it will ensure that when you print it, it is above 300 DPI. Now I do also like to optimize my design for the darker color t-shirts as they do sell better. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by selecting black as my background color. Now in today's video, we're gonna be doing a Mardi Gras design. Mardi Gras is coming up here. It is at the beginning of March. So it is March 4th this year, so March 4th. And Mardi Gras designs are usually funny um, designs, bright colors. So we're going to do a very popular one that says, who's your crawdaddy? Um, and so what I want is a nice picture of pretty much a crawfish. Now, there's probably plenty that we can look at on Canva. But for this one, I'm going to go ahead and jump over to Creative Fabrica and pick a graphic there. So right now I'm on Creative Fabrica and I am just on, you know, print on demand assets. Now, as I'm doing this, there's still mostly Christmas stuff up. So we're going to go ahead and do a little search. So from here, I'm just going to go ahead and start by searching um, Mardi Gras. When I do a nice broad search, it's going to give me a lot of results. So I got over 14,000 results. Now, this is a great way to get general um, ideas. So you can look through all sorts of things, get all sorts of fun ideas. And then if you know specifically what you're looking for, you can do a more specific search. Like I could do Mardi Gras and then just crawfish and really make it more narrow. But by starting nice and broad, it gives me a lot of good ideas. Now I do want to scroll all the way down to the bottom here and make sure that print on demand is clicked. That means that we've got that special license that we can go ahead and use this for print on demand. And technically you can use it without making any changes or adjustments, but I always make some sort of change to make the design my own. Obviously you don't want to be selling what everybody else is selling. So I'm going to go ahead, scroll down here. I know that there's um, some crawfish ones that I liked that I was going to go ahead and use, but you can see there's all sorts of different patterns um, and graphics and other things that you can shoot for. So here is the cool crawdad or crawfish one that I liked. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. And so this one had lots of just really cool Mardi Gras crawfish. So I have already downloaded this, but what you would do is just go ahead and hit download. It is going to download it as a zip file. You will have to open that file and then drag and drop the individual um, PNGs into your downloads. And we can go from there. And so we'll head right back over now to our Canva page. Once you are back on Canva, you'll just go ahead and go over to the left-hand side where you have your uploads. You'll hit uploads, upload files, find the ones that you just downloaded and go ahead and upload them. So the one I decided to use was this one right here. I thought that this looked really cool. I got the hat and the flowers and a really good crawfish here. Now there are some aspects of this design that I am not really fond of. You can tell it was taken from something else because what I've got is a cutoff line here a couple of these sort of orangey color things, another cutoff line here. And so a lot of Creative Fabrica graphics, you want to change because there's lots of little things that you can improve. And I have noticed a lot more AI generated designs there. I was just looking at different like all over print papers. Um, and I could tell a lot of them were AI generated because there will be little things that at first you don't notice at a quick glance. But then once you really start looking, some things don't make sense. I found a lot of like five leaf clovers when I was searching for things. Um, and so definitely take a good look at whatever you get off of Creative Fabrica and make sure that it looks right to you. And you can always make any adjustments as needed. So for this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to edit. We're gonna go ahead and use our magic eraser on this one. And what I see is like, this is cut off, this is cut off, this is cut off. So some of these things, I don't know 
exactly what that is, but I don't particularly want it. So I'm just going to start erasing the things that I don't want. Now, fortunately, this one's pretty easy. There's just a few things here that I want to get rid of. Um, some are a little bit more complicated, but this one's pretty simple. So just go ahead, erase everything that either doesn't make sense or looks like it's completely cut off and we can go from there. So just getting rid of those few things, I'll hit erase. There we go. And so now it makes a lot more sense. I'm not getting those, those areas that are completely cut off. So we'll go ahead and we'll go back. So now I like the way that my graphic is looking, make it nice and big in the middle of my page. And now what we're going to do is add our text. So it is going to say, who's your crawdaddy? And I'm going to have who's your at the top, crawdaddy at the bottom. So let's just go ahead and pick some fonts. I'm going to start by hitting T on my keyboard. That'll pull up your text bo box. And I'm going to put who's your on the top line. Make that nice and big. Now, right now it is dark. I can't see it. So just so that I can make sure I see it, I'm going to change the color real quick. So who's your... And then at the bottom, I'm going to hit another text box. This one is going to say crawdaddy. And that is going to go at the bottom here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pick some fonts, make it look nice and big. Now I'm going to go ahead and make this all capitalized too. So to do that, I can hit that uppercase, lowercase A. That'll make it all capitalized. And so I can do that right there. And then because I want this to fill a good amount of the page, I want to pick a font that is both bold and a little bit more narrow. So you can search for bold, you can search for narrow. I searched for a little bit and I decided to come up with one that was called um, Bryce Bold and Condensed. So Bryce Bold Condensed is both bold and condensed. So I liked that. And I decided to do that for both the top and the bottom there. So it had a little bit of a character to it. It wasn't just a plain, boring font. So I liked the way that that looked and it did fit really well here. So I'm just going to go ahead and make those both nice and big. So again, it fills most of the page. So who's your crawdaddy? Right there. Perfect. Got my crawdad in the middle. Got my font at the top and the bottom. And now we need to pick some colors. Now, you could do this all one color. You could do each word a different color. You could do each letter a different color. You could just do it all in white, or you could do it all in purple. So there's lots of different ways that you can go with this. To make it stand out and be a little bit different, I decided to do each word a different color, but then also each letter within that word a different shade of that color. So starting with whose, I decided to go ahead and make whose purple. And so we started by just starting to select some purples. Now, picking the purple from the hat was a little dark, so I did want to go lighter than that, but I can start with that shade. So just by highlighting the W, going to text color, and then hitting the add new color, I can take that general shade and I can make it a little bit lighter. So something like that. And then I can go to the next letter. And I'm going to start with that same purple that I just used. And then from there, I'm just going to make it maybe a little bit lighter still. Right. And so all I'm doing is just sort of playing it with its placement. I'm going to do one more here. I'm going to pick that lighter color. This time, maybe I'll go a little bit brighter. And so you can see I'm just picking slightly different shades each time, but all within the same kind of shade that I had. Maybe I go really light there on that one. One more S. And again, just a, a slightly different kind of shade there. So yeah. there we go. So it's all purple, but they're all just ever so slightly different in shades. And so then the next one I was going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do the green. So I'm going to start with the first letter, just highlight it, go up to my text color. I can start with the green that is already in here. And then from there, I can go up and just sort of maybe lighten it up so I can see it a little better and start with that shade right there. And we'll just keep doing the same thing. I'm just going to make them all just ever so slightly different variations. 
right? But it's in the same place here. So it's not more yellow. It's not more blue. I'm keeping it all within the same spot. So it really does match this. And I'm just kind of going darker or lighter um, or more saturated or less saturated. But I'm keeping it all so that they kind of match one another really well. There we go. Who's your, and then the last one, Crawdaddy. And we're going to go with, you know, our more yellow tones here. This one I might want to bring a little bit more into the yellow because this is a little bit darker with the gold there, but let's see. Let's start by picking our primary color here, which is the same one we got there. So let's go ahead then. Let's see if I can maybe, this one I am going to bring it a little bit more into the yellows. Just because when I think about colors for Mardi Gras, I want them to be, you know, nice and bright. So something like that. It's just giving it a little bit more uniqueness as opposed to some of the other ones that are just one solid color, but it still looks good, still pops nicely. I can go ahead and make my crawdaddy nice and big in the page. I can even make him so he overlaps the words just a smidge, make sure he's in the front. So something like that. And again, nice and big. I'm okay if he overlaps a bit, make sure he's centered. And so something like that, something like that is really gonna stand out. So when people are searching for shirts, you know, the bigger the design, the brighter, the more it's going to catch somebody's attention on a little thumbnail. So especially as you're scrolling through, let's say Amazon or whatnot, and you're looking at all these little thumbnails of shirts, in order for yours to stand out, it needs to be something that's big, that's bright, that's bold, unless it's a particular style that's going somewhere else. But the general rule is, I mean, something like this that's really filling the whole page and is really nice and bright, this is going to stand out a lot more. And so that right there is a good design. Now, you could add things if you wanted to. There's nothing to say that you couldn't go ahead and add some more beads or some more flourishes, do whatever you want to kind of make it a little bit more your own. But I'm pretty happy with this design. It's bright, it's big, it's relatively simple. And so I'm gonna go ahead and title it, Who's Your? We'll go with Crawdaddy. And we'll go ahead and download this. So I'm gonna hit share, download. This is a transparent background. It's a PNG, hit download, and now it is ready to go up. Again, shirts, tanks, hoodies, um, tote bags, pillows, whatever you wanna put it on, you can put it on. Um, if you have any questions about this, again, drop it in the comment section below. If you have video requests, you can put those in the comment section below. I do read all of your comments and thank you so much for the kind words. Um, I do have a Facebook and Instagram page that I am trying to grow right now. So you guys can start communicating with each other via Facebook if you want to join the community. Um, and other than that, I just hope you guys are doing really good with your sales. I hope you're being very creative. Um, and as promised, I do have those five bonus niches for you. So as promised, I do have those five bonus niches. These are funny Mardi Gras niches that you guys can be working on. And so without any more waiting, here they go. So number one, I like big beads and I cannot lie. Number two, let's get cray cray. Number three, shut up liver, it's Mardi Gras. Number four, let the shenanigans begin. And number five, may contain alcohol. And so you can do any number of different design styles with these niches. They're all very popular um, and they're all things that you wanna start working on right now so that you got lots of time to get them up and get some sales before Mardi Gras. So I hope you guys are still being really creative. I hope your sales are going great. I hope you're growing your skills and your portfolio. And of course, I do hope to see you guys again next time. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.